love this fucking man. This Mac has failed us now twice. You know that? That's that's the nut behind the butt right there. No, that was this Mac has failed us oh, twice. No, twice. Twice it's failed us. So do we do the drink test again? No, 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 no. It's fine. Because like last time, when, uh, the last episode we yeah. did as well. I'm shattered. Uh, yeah, see? Done it. Him and his fucking app life Dude, shit. as if the Mac. That's not the Mac's fault. That's the Come Mac's on. fault. So I'm, what happened? Nothing. It was just spooling over and over again. So it didn't record, like, nearly everything. Everything, pretty much. So is it uh, recording now? Now it is. But that's the failure of the Mac. Oh, no. So what did you do to rectify the, is the error? I sorted it out. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> so this, <laughs> wait, play, Foster's? <laughs> let's quickly re- oh, let's recap. Everything. Hang on, hang on. Let's wait. recap. I'm, I'm just so gutted because that was the most awesome intro to a podcast. That's yeah, all right. It's fine. Ah. No, no, no. Hang on. We have to recap. Okay. okay. Hang on. Ah. Stats man is back. <laughs> in black. Duke leverage in. <laughs> in black. All right. <coughs> I have a pack of Lucky Strikes and there's no reason for this as I'm not a smoker, but these Lucky Strikes are the best fucking thing ever. Mint condition. All right. Um, I've brought in three Fosters. cans of Fosters because... We were rabbiting on about him in the first uh, podcast yeah. that we ever did. Yeah. Look at this kind of gut it is. I'm and you can only blame Steve Jobs <laughs> up there. <laughs> you can blame the dead man. <laughs> you can blame the dead man. Uh, <laughs> and Apple has now failed us two weeks in a fucking row, man. Because they fucked us with the episode last week as well with Arthur. All right. Gutted. We have to thank Arthur again for, for all the hard work he did for the last five five weeks. And this... this Arthur, we love you. This fucking thing here. <laughs> he sounds this piece of shit. Arthur, we love you. <laughs> this piece of shit. This piece of shit. I'm sorry, but it's the Mac life that has ruined us. I'm so gutted. That was, a, that was a, such a cool intro. And it's it's just, no stress. It gives a fuck. No stress. Anyway. It's just gone into right, the right, ether. You said uh, Foster's is a poor man's VB. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor, Foster, Foster's is a poor man's VB. It's 1.2 yeah. alcohol things. It's fine. It's like a watered down VB. All right. You were playing bingo on the ship. All right, yeah. And you had a sheet. All these oldies were, were winning. They were buying like $5 sheets, and mm, I bought a $30 book, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just picturing it. I, just, I walked in there with my beard, unshaven, nothing, tats. <laughs> when did you shave? Just yesterday. Are you serious? Yeah. Six weeks, you didn't shave. No, I shaved, I shaved once, but I look like a Wolverine, man. But like like, yesterday I was looked like a <laughs> got off the plane, people were looking fucked. at me like. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked, man. <laughs> I'm actually loving these Fosters, man. Fosters is going down good, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to drown my sorrows now and just scull this can. And no, just... don't, nah, don't nah, do nah. that because there's no more beer. <laughs> and you're going to be like, go hey, beer. <laughs> hey, don't blame me because of the, the Mac. Hurting inside. It's the Mac. It's not my fault. It's pain. <laughs> I've done nothing different. I did nothing different. It failed us. Like it always has. Nah. Anyway. anyway okay, yeah, so yeah, you're playing, playing bingo. bingo. These old bastards in their khaki shorts and the Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and I just lost it. <laughs> I, just, I just cracked the shits. Like, I'm sitting there, and I'm banging the table, because I'm not winning. And Were you drinking? No, I was sober. We, oh. Yeah, could you imagine if I was drinking? <laughs> could you imagine just go for a smoke? <laughs> I actually went for a smoke after the game. That's the thing, because I'm like, this is bullshit. Because they had bought one sheet for one game, and I had, like, a big book with lots of yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. And here is bingo, bingo, bingo. I'm, like, losing my shit, man. I go to Ren, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> I go, she goes, keep your voice down. I go, no, this is fucked. This is fucked. Like, what? This is bullshit. Man, the oldies would have hated that so much. Yeah, dude. Y- young hooligan coming in and ruining dude, their fun. They and they were looking at me like this, and I'm just like, what? Like, what? <laughs> dude, I played bingo in Clayton like 10 years ago. That's a mad bingo place. Man, we were there. It was like five wogs. Nothing but old people in Samoans, man. Oh like, this, like, I swear. And Samoans are like KFC. Like, they're all eating KFC and laughing shit. laughing and, like, giggling and, like, just dying. Just dying, making stupid jokes. Dude, there these old people, like, the old people next to us are just staring they're at us. They're taking it seriously. Like, they're looking at us like, can you shut up? Like, man, it's a social <laughs> thing. Like, Ugh. they fool, like, they Nazi it yeah, up, man. Like, yeah. you cannot breathe yeah. out of line, otherwise you're yeah. fucked. There's bingo etiquette. <laughs> bingo etiquette. Oh, I didn't show any, man. Exactly. I did not that's, show that's any, why man. That's you were hated. Man, and I was walking around, like... Like everyone was dressed up nicely and shit. There was one of those cruises. There wasn't many young people. And there was a few, but, you know, more fam- young families and stuff. And I'm walking around, I'm like, my shorts, my Metallica t-shirt and tats and stuff. They're all looking at me like, what, man? <laughs> Where were <laughs> they all from, mostly? Um, a few from Australia. The Australians were cool. The oldies, they were cool, man, because I was like, ah, so like, oh, how you going? Where are you from, Melbourne? Oh, yeah, 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 from Adelaide yeah. and whatever. It was a lot of the English mm. and stuff. <laughs> like, some of them were cool, but some of them were just looking at me like, oh, like, Really? How could you wear that Wait, around the ship? Where did the cruise start? Uh, so, okay, so let me retrack. Okay. We went to Greece. Yeah. Right. We were there for two weeks. Then we went to Barcelona for a couple of nights, and then we caught the cruise from Barcelona. Barca to and where did you, what was the last stop? Venice. Yeah. Okay. That's why. Yeah. You would have all these uh, pretty like retirees like, yeah. taking their trip. Oh, dude. You know like, what I mean? And 
like I'd walk into the buffet <laughs> and I'd just stack up and they're looking at me like <laughs> this guy's piling up bacon and hash browns dude, oh my like, like yeah and they're sitting there and they're sitting there Roger, like, look at that man and there was a pizza station right <laughs> and like they'd be sitting there eating their pizza with a knife and fork I'm grabbing it with my hand just stuffing it in my like, pepperoni man like <laughs> you know chorizo and stuff yeah I'm gonna eat it with a knife and fork dude you're a disgrace for that shit can nah man I was that shit <laughs> I made that shit can you picture him waking up in the morning no shave barely brushes his teeth smoke just boner. whatever he's waking up in like just shorts singlet like just dirty yeah. just walking straight into the Bay Marie's and start stacking shit on a plate that's exactly what happened <laughs> like the, the only thing I'd do remotely would be like brush my teeth and just splash some water on my face and I'd walk into the like the he buffet he treats it like his cousin's driving the ship like it's just his family yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay they're just stacking on bacon and stuff and yeah man it was cool do you was, get like restless because you're on the ship a little bit like on sea days like you like, get what, to the what pool, did you do like all day you go to the pool you chill out you just listen to music there's there's heaps of stuff to do on there but it was more for like like fuddy duddies like you can play shuffleboard are you sure uh, yeah man like, I didn't play shuffleboard. Tiddly winks and shit. Like, oh, dude. There's a games room. <laughs> Twister there's, in the main room. It's <laughs> a games room. And you get to play shuffleboard and all this kind of stuff. And I go, if I go in there, I'm going to smash someone. <laughs> if I lose to like an 80 year old. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to rent. I have to rent. I have to rent. I have to rent. I have to rent. You're we're, cheating! <laughs> 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 I just had to ram like at the bingo. I go, I'm gonna roll this kind. Like, I'm gonna roll him on the ship for his winnings. I don't care. This is what's gonna happen. Like, she's Five like, what do you man. mean? I go, I'm gonna roll him for the hundred bucks he just won. Oh, the money seriously. Like, dude, like, what I mean, a rip! Did you did you get to sleep in? Was it uncle? Well, like, because it's a ship. Did hmm. you feel the movement? A little bit. Sometimes you did. We had, a, we had a couple of rough days. I'm but, just saying, because like, I've been on ferries, I've been on yeah. shit like that. I've, I've slept in cat on a catamaran, yeah. like, but, and you, you feel it. Like, you get, yeah, you get used to but it. But a ship that big... You get used to it. Like, it dep- if it's really rough, you can feel it. Yeah, do you have rough But days? it's not like a spirit tazzy where you get thrown from one side of the ship to the other. <laughs> yeah, I went on the spirit. When you go How through bad the, is it? When you bass go straight. Yeah, bass straight. Man. man, you get thrown around like a The dreaded man. bass straight, they really? call it. I've never, the, I've oh, never done it. Dude, that is when you get thrown around. This was like heaven compared to... Thrown around. I'm picturing him clean. Dude, 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 you're trying to go to the toilet. No shit. You're trying to go to the toilet and you're holding onto the walls because you're scared to get. <laughs> this guy's just clean to the bowl. His I legs. I tell you what was rough. I tell you what was rough. We we caught a uh, uh, Cosmote ship uh, ferry yeah. from Mykonos to Santorini. Dude, Cosmote in Greece is the equivalent of like what um Optus Optus cheap time prepaid like when we were like sixteen. Yeah. The yeah, ferry was sponsored Cosmo by Cosmo 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 yeah, Cosmo Cosmo is uh, like the Optus of, uh, of Greece, and nice everyone's there. on, like, cheap time. Like, what's it called? Uh, oh, what's the credit called? Like, the, when you get Cosmo Tech cards... I actually got, still got the SIM card it's like somewhere. It's called WhatsApp or something. Yeah, WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not it's WhatsApp. Yeah, it's WhatsApp. Not WhatsApp. It's called, like, they're, they're yeah. tight-ass credits, so, like, free... WhatsApp. What, like, free yeah. Cosmo Tech or Cosmo yeah. It's called WhatsApp. And they were like, when I went... Rookie mistake me, I got like a Telstra card, you know what I mean? Didn't know that there was no... Idiot. <laughs> yeah, idiot. Everyone's looking at me like, I'll call you. Like, what carry you? Oh, have you got any WhatsApp me? And she go, what's that? Aren't you with Cosmo Tech? I'm like, nah, I'm with like, Wind or whatever. Yeah. They're like, oh, banished. Yeah, they yeah, look at you <laughs> like, you're not me. I swear to God. I Get probably, out. Dude, for 75% of my relays in Greece probably didn't call me because I had the wrong carrier. <laughs> what? Yeah, man, yeah. they tried us. They tried they're us fine. bad. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the, the the worst probably yeah bit I had was um, one night on the cruise. It was actually we went through a storm. That was pretty cool though because we had a balcony in our room. We had a sick room, man. Like we didn't have a shit cut room. Do you have a balcony? Nah, a, we got a, a cool, ship. we got a cool room, man. We got a cool. It's room. Cool in my house, dude. Tell me, tell, me, thing- tell me you jerked off on the balcony looking out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> tell me d- you. I didn't have to. I love doing oh, it, love. Do it, love. <laughs> This man went on his honeymoon. But I had to right? jerk off. <laughs> Your mind straight goes straight to jerking off on a balcony. I wouldn't care if I was on my honeymoon. <laughs> I would jerk off on that balcony. The into the ocean. Into the ocean. Into the ocean or to the guy be- below you. <laughs> <laughs> How powerful are you, man? Like, <laughs> this guy's just shooting around. It's just it's a, We're dude. under attack. Oh, no, it's just uh, Mr. Wright from his balcony window. Nah, what the fuck? It's a beautiful thing, man. You send your seed off into nature. It's I like, love it. It's a beautiful thing like what's wrong with you man don't, you don't know <laughs> 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 
that's just you know, like, no. that's just so awkward, man. <laughs> that's so normal for me. You're putting my jump no, back more, on. no more drinking for you, man. <laughs> I've had three sips in. He's already started. I think I found my new favorite beer, Foster's. <laughs> how, how dare you get out? It's, pretty, it's easy to drink. Yeah, it's easy. I oh, asked the guy. I asked smooth. the guy, and I said, "Did you sell much of this?" He's like, "To be honest, not really." Like, dude, honestly, I'm ashamed to be buying. He's like, "Yeah, man." Because <laughs> apparently. It's better now. Yeah, better than what? Because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried but it. Apparently, it's better. I'm like, okay, whatever that means. Like, whatever. Anyway. But yeah, anyway, the ship was cool. Moving uh, on, we were jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> the- <laughs> I've just lost the whole ship. I don't want to speak about it anymore. <laughs> we-, we were saying you had a sweet room. Yeah, no, sweet room, bathroom in there, um, queen size bed, uh, TV, balcony. Yeah, okay, it was let me cool. Ask you, it's so a big contrast to when I went on a boat because when I went on the when I went on <laughs> the Spirit, really we, no, no. We, I've been on the Spirit. I had a chair. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't, I, I was laying on the in the corridor like a yeah. junkie, like yeah. just up against the wall. <laughs> what do you mean? No, people didn't want to chill out. Oh, yeah, my backpack was my pillow. I swear to God. <laughs> you know what we did? You know, you know when you go, did you go to the games room? With yeah, the, yeah, 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 the pennies yeah, yeah. and outside the pennies like tables where you can eat. Yeah. We we're laying on the tables. <laughs> yeah, because there's nowhere to sleep. No, I'm not shelling out 200 bucks to go to Tassie. How much is a room? How much is a room like, on Spirit of Tasmania? It's quite a bit. Like they bunk. I don't bunk. know. But we were just like we tight asses, so we're like, no. Nah. Yeah. I'll, Wait. Is this when you went when you were a teenager? Yeah, when I was like 17. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is that the that's the only time you've gone? Yeah. yeah. It was just okay. like a couple of hundred bucks, like to really? go to Tassie. I, man, stats. I'm gonna check this out. Yeah, no. Nah. But I, I right. did wander up to the rooftop and have my jerk off up there. It was good. You did, didn't you? Are yeah. you joking? No, I actually did. <laughs> you are <laughs> cameras. You are a horrible, horrible man. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, the top deck's dark as, man. Like, I'm not there at, like, midnight. There's no one up there. After dark with Bobby Preacher. <laughs> Tassie, Tassie package from 299. They, for two passenger up. fares, cabin and car. 299. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that. Pff, nah, <laughs> man. Get out of here. I might as well just catch a plane for How 40 bucks. How long does it take? Uh, is it seven hours or eight hours? Yeah, it's like eight hours. Yeah. Eight hours, so it's about 150, 200 bucks a pop yeah. for a room and a car. And a shit ride. Eight hour trip. That's why uh, I just slumped in the corridor like a junkie. Because I would what rather pay... What does a corridor cost? No, you just don't pay forty nine dollars. It's, yeah. like, it's just, it's just, it's just jump the on fare, and then you just sleep bucks, wherever you yeah. want. <laughs> just jump on. You just pass out wherever you want, man. We should go to Tassie one day, man. Oh, it's gross. Tassie's sick. No, no, no. Like, I, love, I love Hobart. We'll do... Hobart was cool. Here's another road trip idea. But we take the spirit of Tasmania. I think the jeep for eight hours, man. We set up a sh- like serious. Yeah, Why not? We'll, yeah, and we'll we'll um take a car and I'll take you boys to Cradle Mountain, little wood cabins up in the hills. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you left your legacy? <laughs> But the sound of it, you've left your legacy that, everywhere. <laughs> that, that, that right kid, you know, he's back. <laughs> they got a photo of him. Don't let this man in. <laughs> 10, 15 years later. <laughs> he's still yeah. the same picture. We know you. <laughs> I keep interrupting you anyway. No, anyway, no, no, shit was cool. Like, it was all right. Like, but I wouldn't, like, even Ren said, we wouldn't go on that. We would go cruising again, but yeah. not that same ship. What would you take? Just like a celebrity or a carnival ex or whatever they're called. They're a bit more younger and they're a bit more like... Fun, like I mean, they had a club on there called Hemisphere with DJ Graham. Who? No man, DJ no, Graham. DJ, like anyone who uses his name man, Graham you know, is their DJ. My, name. Suge- <laughs> my suggestion, <laughs> my suggestion to one of the one of the passengers, they're like, "Oh, you're gonna go to the club and stuff." I go, "Who's the DJ?" DJ Graham. I go, "DJ G Banger." <laughs> <laughs> DJ Graham. And he's like spinning the tracks. <laughs> Just do a remix of like Bee Gees and shit. Yeah, could you imagine, yeah, could you imagine <laughs> you drop the Dre track? Dre. Dre. Compton, Compton. Something out of like NWA, yeah, man. man. <laughs> like 100 miles and running. Like something, like something fucked up. <laughs> I just got a text, by the way, from... Um, Prince Arthur. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was his birthday yesterday. Hey, Happy birthday, birthday Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, I forgot to Happy give a shout Happy birthday out. to you. We'll get Johnny to jump out of a cake for you. <laughs> <I'm> back! <laughs> I just sent a message saying something about paintball tomorrow. Um, could you mind, uh, Johnny, with paintball proof clothing? Yeah, paintball. You coming? What's going on? Because when he told me... Because told- you're going to break his heart right now because he's going to hear this. I'm going to tell him to hear this. Oh, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit I'm, this tonight. I'm completely gutted. Because when I spoke to him last week, he told me it was Wednesday week, as in next Wednesday. That's a pretty poor excuse, mate. And, what time's um, he doing? And obviously... 6.15. I- and- Can you make it? I'm at work. What do you mean? Ren's got an appointment at 5.30 for a oh, client. Fuck. And I've got to go... Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you've j- hey, I just found Arthur, out about it yesterday... Johnny, right. and Johnny knew about this three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Nick his due because he, he stepped off a plane like less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> and, right? Wait, Arthur, and I'm back at work tomorrow. I'm going to do my hardest to edit this tonight just so you can hear it before tomorrow. So no, I just want to say, because I don't like to be flaky anymore. Like, I don't like to be that flaky anymore. guy. Anymore? I used to be real flaky, like with plans and shit. Like, so I like to stick to my shit these days. 
<laughs> like, hold up my word. Like, oh, yeah. What time am I going to be there? One thirty. Okay, cool. Five it's o'clock. It's quarter to three. Jones no, rolling like, up. He's hey, in his jocks. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to get dressed, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? Have you listened? But I was going to say, sorry, like, go, in, go, my, go. in my defense, remember how I told you I couldn't do the podcast? In my defense, your honor. Yes. Because I'd message you and told you I couldn't, I couldn't do the podcast Wednesday. <laughs> He's looking right at me like... He was, He's yeah. serious. I'm just getting stuff. I'm just fucking doing these ones. Go, yeah. <clears throat> nah, because I couldn't do the podcast tomorrow because I told you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know yeah. that. Because I told you. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's a whole that day. That was an excuse. Because I told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this, man. <laughs> that's all right. That's true, right? Nah. Dude, whatever. No, nah, but it's, it's just fucked because I'm not, like, being flaky. Well, like, I honestly thought to, it was... You're like, going to have to break it to him. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I'll tell him he can shoot me in the dick with a paintball gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the ass or the ribs, in the dick. You know what's fun? I deserve it. Dude, do me. One day. Do it again. One day. Oh, good. <laughs> hit, hit the knob. <laughs> Keep it up. Because one day, man, his daughter's going to ask, so, you know, what were you like, like 10 years ago? 15 years ago. This is going to be his legacy. That's not right, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this podcast, for a period in his early 30s, this podcast will be his dying legacy. You know what I mean? What's the one great thing you did in your life? Yes. That's then, not right. That's it. And this episode... That's my last words. Hashtag, that's not right. <laughs> this episode will have, like, you know, a million listens. Like on SoundCloud and Facebook. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 you can't talk to fuck, man. Uh, Tony Mack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't to get out, man. <laughs> You just see him on the ship. Yeah, with all the funny daddies, yeah, just like... Bubbling up. <laughs> bubbling. Just building. I was getting angry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you keep a diary? No. I, I got a few things written down. Do you? Yeah. I didn't bring it with me. All that time. I've got to all remember. This is what I'm trying to... Uh, this is what I'm trying to... Sorry. Yeah, well, well. Dear Diary, tonight I wanked on the on, on our balcony. <laughs> it was good. It, was it wasn't most... as good as Johnny said it would be. <laughs> I, I didn't feel it on the day show like you said I would. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disgusting, oh, man. Shit. But, oh, yeah, I've got, I've got it all remembered. I've got I'm, it all. Okay, let me ask you. So what would a normal day be on that ship? I like, like, I'd get up. Yeah, what I'd time, have a smoke. Long, would you get to sleep in because of the ship? Or? Sometimes. On a sea day, I would. Can you hear people milling around? Like, is nah. it noisy? <laughs> nah. No, we, do you know no, what no, I mean? Because like, we, we were on the... Do you know when you're in a fucking cheap hotel? Yeah. And you can just see, like, people opening doors and shit. Like, shut up! You know? Sometimes. You know what? The ones, the new guys that got on at Rome. <laughs> this guy <can't> was. <laughs> Sorry, man. I was lost it. <laughs> so I was thinking about shit. You're thinking about the balcony, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just your, your silhouette. <laughs> nah, okay. Nah. <laughs> it's just choking, man. Um, we had a couple of loud neighbours, like old cunts that wouldn't shut up. <laughs> old old Bazza from like, 92. I, 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 like, no shit, it'd be so bad, I'd get so angry that I'd go on the balcony for a smoke, and they'd be out there, and I'd butt it out and go back inside. I went, fuck this, man. Like, like I just, I, I can, let me ask you, You man. weren't allowed to smoke on the balcony, but I did. No, of course you did. Dude, I had when, my bottle of water. And you weren't allowed to smoke on the balcony at your bikes. You <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking ash cigars. Like yeah. Why was, is it, why, is that just like a fire risk? It's a cleaning, cleaning factor thing, yeah. man. But I, see, the, the housekeeper that came <clears> in, <throat> um, she was cool. I gave her like 20 bucks. And just said like, <laughs> in other words, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> and she would clean like the balcony in our room and everything. She didn't say nothing. So just that, a 20 and a wink. <laughs> and a 20, I gave her 20 at the start and 20 at the end. Just a, you know, just 20 American. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hey. No, no, this is not like a fitty. No, no, no. None of this Aussie, Aussie stuff. This is a... Don't, don't look Trump over here. <laughs> High roller, you know? Just... Do you ever walk around in your robe? I would have for sure, man. Nah. Like a bathrobe. Yeah. I would have done that for sure just to creep people out, man. On my last day or something. Like, what are you going to do? Throw me off? I'm, I'm leaving anyway. Nah. Yeah. Uh. But think about the thing is, though, like the spa was cool. <laughs> yeah. like, what are they going to do? Lock you in your room or something? <laughs> <laughs> like really? The love boat. Oh, what, what's, it, what's this about a spa? This is tweaking my interest. No, oh, it's pretty cool, God. man. So let me give you a quick, just I don't want, just a quick rundown. Is this, this a ship? Is this right? a communal? You spa? had a ca- casino. You had a casino. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had a casino on board. Full casino. It was cool. What were the odds like in that, man? That's where I would have been the whole trip. Nah. Really? Nah. They just, yeah, nah. you know why? Because they were, they were set up to just on, sting on, the old pensioners. Yeah, man. I would have been yeah, Sean man. Connery. Man, there was that machine, you know, <laughs> when you put in the coins? The <laughs> you know those machines where you put in the coins and it pushes the money and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Man, these old people, That's man, old they, were, they were pumping cash into this machine. And me and Ren are looking, they're never going to win it. You could tell that the, the notes that they had in there were stuck to the thing. And these people are pumping cash. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, you old bastards, man. That's like, why, man. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. For sure, man. Just taking advantage of the old folks. Yeah. That's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, man. 
but there's like pokies, you can play blackjack, you can play, like, you can still win on the tables, like, that's, you know, a little okay. bit, but. Can I ask you? Yeah, the, I'm, a, I'm a blackjack man. With the, with with the, the table set up, yeah, with the table set up, did it look half decent, or was it really like. Uh, like. It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Proper casino. Like, okay, so it did look like it didn't feel like you were somewhere playing like you were at a casino. Didn't feel like you're in the back of a shed in Vietnam. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it felt it felt like a real casino. Yeah. Okay, cool. Proper tables. The um attendants were dressed up in vests, like proper. Yeah. Um, that was cool. Maybe because I've never had the luxury of going on like one of these cruises, man. Anything I've ever done has always been like fifth rate. So I'm Dude, just imagining. Like... A, could you imagine the shock on my face when I saw this thing? Yeah. I walked in, Ren, because Ren's been sailing before and stuff. It's my first time, and on a, this kind of ship, the Queen yeah. Victoria. Everyone was dressed to impress, man. When we checked in, I was literally wearing a Metallica t-shirt <laughs> and my shorts and my thongs. And everyone's walking in with, like, jackets and shirts. Yeah, but and the, I'm like, oh, shit, what's going on here, man? Like the Bellagio, man, yeah. in Vegas. I was wearing like, my cotton top. Like, we've mentioned it before, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dude, we've mentioned it before. When we went to <laughs> the States, we did everything low budget, low, like, everything was just on the cheap, on the, what on the fly. Down the road and yeah, right? the into we the hotel. We mentioned it. We've, we've talked about this, yeah. but... The one thing I said was, look, you know what? We're skimping on everything, like, just to get through the three weeks. But Vegas, we're doing it the Bellagio. Yeah. We're not staying at the Luxor. We're not staying mm. 100K down the strip. No. We're staying where we're going to stay. Front and center. And, dude, mm. we were walking around the Bellagio. Like, you see all these, like, people walking around in heels, suits, sunnies. Mm. Man, we were walking around, like, Carlton Jumper, old <laughs> cotton on, singlet. You know uh, what I mean? Uh, 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 uh. Just Drink, drinking in the pool. You can't <laughs> drink. Who says? Who says? <laughs> come, let them come and get me. I'm swimming around with a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Corona. I'm a dude. I, this I, guy grabs a bottle and he's like, ah. oh, I had my arms up like on the pool, like, like, like pimping like it. I had this big wog Greek chain on. Yeah. yeah. DNG Sunny's holding and his, his Corona. It's like chest hair, buzz cut, just like this, you know. Yeah. He People was sitting in the pool. <laughs> Who said? Ah, uh, the lifeguard will tell you off. I just looked up at him. He like, just looked at right. me. He's got a problem and come and, and tell me. Got, goes, hey, Nick, you can't drink in the pool. What up, man? <laughs> so we put him in my bottle. This guy just doing a lap. I'm sitting there. Come and get me. with one arm. <laughs> just, you know what? Like, that says a lot about the social standings, man. Like, do you reckon... Like, what do you reckon all the other people on the ship would have been thinking when they saw him? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, young, I'm not, like a young punk or like yeah, a young... I'm not saying, like, because everyone's prejudiced or racist or whatever. Mm. I'm just saying, like... Because on the ship, that would be etiquette. everyone... Yeah, because if everyone has got that... Because you're saying... Was anyone else dressed the way you were? Some people, but not all the time. Well, if there's a hundred people, what? How many of the hundred would be dressed like you? Three, maybe, maybe, maybe. Gar- one guaranteed me. Yeah, and like uh, maybe another guy that couldn't give a shit. Yeah, maybe. there was actually one older dude with like tats. He looked like an old English Navy SEAL. Like, he just probably you know, was, and he just didn't care. Yeah, he just retired, you know, and just he can't tell me what to do. You know, yeah, like yeah. that kind of guy. One of those cunts, sitting there yeah. drinking pot. His wife shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there just nick- necking beers at the, at the bar, <laughs> and she's sitting there watching the Olympics. <laughs> like, but that's what I'm saying, man. Like. Clearly, if there's a hundred people on the boat and only three are dressed like, say, the way he yeah. is, then people have already got this mentality of like what this ship and is about. And a lot of people yeah. have cruised before on this kind of ship. Yeah. So they're They'd thinking, this is, how we, this is how we dress. This, this is how we do it. Yeah. So then how would like, you know what I mean? Yeah. How would you feel like, being, like man, oh, you're, you sound like you were very polite, man. If I was on that ship for like a week, I would have lost my marbles by this point, man. You don't really interact with them, though. Dude, I lose my shit going to Safeway and I get stared at. You know what I mean? Yeah. I lose yeah. it. Like, I, I have no threshold. Like, a very, like, especially like, now, I'm frustrated. Ren didn't give a fuck. I'd mm. unquestion it and be like, you know, oh, I'm wearing thongs. Ren would be like, who gives a fuck? Like, my missus doesn't care. Oh, so it. she's like, man, you paid just as much as these cunts did. Yeah. Why, why would you care? I've said the same thing. Like, obviously, I wouldn't walk in. Like, we had a good restaurant called Britannia. Like, you wouldn't walk <laughs> Britannia? in. Britannia? Yeah. Isn't that the name of the casino, Mr. Burns? Yeah. Casino? yeah. <laughs> I can hear Britannia. Pressing your drink, Like, you wouldn't walk in there with thongs. Like, I can appreciate that. You wouldn't walk into, like, a restaurant here, a good Ooh. restaurant here, with your thongs. But, like, going to the buffet and stuff. Shh. It's a buffet. What was the buffet like? You know what? We ate more at the buffet than we did at the restaurant. Yeah, I Because everything was included. As in, we didn't have to pay for the good restaurant. Everything was included really? in the price. Yeah. I thought you would have had to shell out more. Nah. But to go to the Britannia, yeah. you had to wear a shirt and a jacket. <laughs> did, no you have a, did you have a shirt and jacket? I took it with me, but I didn't really wear it. Did you have like, a jacket as well? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, a blazer. Like a... I'm in bond over I'm here. I'm a bit disappointed, man. Nah, actually, but... it was pretty pimping, man. Like, it was... I've got to tell you, like, we did it... I think two I'm or three. Tell you t- I looked gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was two or three times we did it, and it was pretty sick. But I couldn't do it all the time because that's not me. And you know, like, no, no, man. No, that's what if, I'm saying. Unless I have to wear, cape. unless I have to wear clothes, <laughs> like, or even a singlet, yeah. I don't wear shirts, and like I feel uncomfortable in suits and stuff. I just don't like them. 
So, Man. any chance we got to go to the buffet? I'd say, let's just go to the buffet. Like, the was night we went for seven? Not the Britannia, but the buffet was. The buffet's 24-7. Dude, you can get whatever oh. you want. Dude, dude, if we went on this cruise, seriously, we'd be up all night drinking. Join, dude, join, like joints on the balcony. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, the and then at 3, 4 in the morning, we roll in looking for steak and ribs. Like, dude, oh, no. oh. you would eat. And, and also, they've got, like, outside where the pool is, they've got a pool grill. So it's just burgers, hot dogs, oh, onion rings. Grill. So it's, like, it's pretty cool. And 3 o'clock, they had afternoon tea. Oh my so you God. get sandwiches and, like, scones with cream. And, man, you can get, like, whatever you want. Like, drinks weren't included. Which is ours, obviously. Take two bottles but with you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they said you can bring alcohol on board as long as you're not drinking it in the corridors. Yeah. You can take it up with you, to, like forever. But you can take a suitcase <laughs> of booze, that's it. <laughs> and a pair of shorts. <laughs> and a pair of sunnies. This is my next holiday, man. <laughs> I'm going to steal a few cars. I was actually going to say, I was actually going to say, you would love cruising. Why? Because it's just a freedom of you stop at ports, you get to see different places, and you get to bring booze on board. You do love the travel. <laughs> you, you pick up VD. A <laughs> different VD at every, uh, every worth, cruise. Worth it. <laughs> <coughs> but, That's nah. insane. But honestly, like, the cruise was cool. Wouldn't go on that ship. I'd go on another one, but, yeah. But but favourite cool places was pro- obviously Greece. I loved Greece. Um... Santorini was cool because we hired a motorbike. Yeah, and I, I thought, I thought I was going to get yeah. the bike. I said, yeah. get the and bike. Ren, that's no the reason. first time Ren's ever been on a motorbike. Oh, the Quaddy. And she jumped on. The Quaddy, man. Yeah, and yeah. we just drove around the island. It I was told you, they're cool. easy. Anyone can ride them, man. They're easy. It was so cool, man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, Greece, obviously. You know, yeah, um, And we stopped at a few cool places on the cruise, like Ejecchio, which is like a small island, Corsica, with Francis. Oh, Corsica, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, so cool, friend. man. Yeah. Like, fucking the little markets and shit. And yeah. The amount of times I heard Napoleon, like, I just blanked out. I couldn't fuck. Like, I don't all give a fuck about Napoleon. <laughs> French, and cheese and Napoleon. Napoleon. Oh, God is Napoleon and cheese. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Towards the end, I just didn't care. Like, we went on like tours and stuff, and like they, ha- I'd just take my headphones out. <laughs> I wouldn't care. I was going to say, did you go to the beaches in France? No, at all, at all. Because you wouldn't have seen all the bikini shit that's been going on. You didn't catch the news at all while you were away, did you? <laughs> no, no, because I wouldn't either. Little bits. Like, oh, I'll on the ship that have um, a printout, they've got their own press on the ship. And they print code. Trouble on the mainland. <laughs> Trouble on the mainland. The Auckland Islands have been invaded. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, bad. Again? No. no. <laughs> um, yeah. And they have, like, every night they give us a turnover service. So, obviously, they come in, they do your bed, whatever, when you're at dinner. They sneak then, into your room, <laughs> go through your shit, take bottles and smoke. You know what I would do? I would set up my room like a BDSM layer, man. I'd leave like leather chains, handcuffs. Ball gags. <laughs> gags, whips, just fucked up shit. Just leave it everywhere, man. Make it the most uncomfortable room in the, in the ship. So she'd walk in and be like, um... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Could you imagine, like, the chambermaids or whatever coming to clean that shit out every night? Like, what the fuck is going on in here, A man? safe word, like, stuck on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Just a note, a note on the door that says a safe word is bananas, you know? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Seriously, oh, and like a tally, just a mystery tally board, like just yeah. the like where the hell four lines they, how did they get all this in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fairy lights. Yeah. <laughs> they changed the curtains to red. Like what the fuck's going on here? Totally like revamping the room, man. Yeah. Fucking oh, hell, man. Yeah, like, oh, that's cool. intense. Yeah. That's massive. Um, we stopped in Montenegro, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo is just out of this world. Like, I felt poor. <laughs> you walk there, around there, I just felt like dirt. <laughs> I felt like shit. That's fucked. Like, we saw um, a Rolls Royce, and the actual badge was made of crystal. What do you mean? Like, the Rolls Royce badge? Yeah. The actual thing that's on there, on the bonnet? Yeah. It's actually not a silver one. It was actually made of crystal. And I go, let's get out of here before I badge it. <laughs> I'm going to rip it off. That's fucked. Yeah. You felt poor. <laughs> I'll be honest. That's ridiculous. Like, I was wearing, like, shorts and a t-shirt, and I just felt like scum. <laughs> like, walking around I'm the street. I'm just getting this image, man. You could basically Photoshop us in. Like, what we're wearing, like, right now, like, the hoodies and the trackies. Here we are in Monte Carlo. <laughs> we're just standing there. <laughs> Smoke VP can. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where Princess Caroline lives. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah. You know. <clears throat> that's it was- fucked. they got their own laws there, man. Like, it's another world. But I didn't see, like, one poor person. Like, it's that kind of... And they don't, obviously they don't pay salary. Like, like Novak, Djokovic lives there. Djokovic. Lewis Hamilton lives there. Like, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people live there because they don't pay tax. They pay tax on other things, but they don't pay tax on their salary and what they earn. So obviously, like whatever you get is yours. Yeah, which is sick. So yeah, but nice. yeah, but things are fucking expensive as hell, man. There's a there's a place there, like an apartment, like a penthouse for thirty three million euros. Like. They, <laughs> 
Dude, I can't afford three bucks. <laughs> I want to. I want to rent an apartment for a week. Yeah, nah, man. You need to go there and find like a princess, even if she's ugly as fuck. You just go there and marry that bitch, Princess Belinda. <laughs> Belinda, hello, some, Belinda. Some shaz just out and the back. Whatever you got, mate. I'm not fussed. <laughs> she got a bit of money. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take her. Fuck, I feel like such a scumbag. You ask us what's what's happened. It's like nothing. What's happened? Um, um, it, it was cold. My body corporate fees went up again. <laughs> <laughs> Venice was cool. <laughs> uh, my bank account got overdrawn, both accounts today. That was depressing as fuck, eh? <laughs> I went to Waymo's to buy something. I got that for bread. I did the old dash on the phone because my phone was about to die. St- streamline account overdrawn by 20 bucks. MasterCard overdrawn by 100 bucks. I'm like, what? What do you mean, man? <laughs> Lucky I bought that balaclava. Dude, like, <laughs> I used my last 20 bucks to buy these cans of, e- of uh, Fosters, man. A true gentleman. They are delicious, And that's by the, the wrap in the last a, five a, weeks. A true gentleman. <laughs> a true gentleman. Seriously, that's the, that's the wrap. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But, um, oh, one more thing on the holiday. I don't want to keep going on no, about no, no, it. No, go for but, it. Oh, like, we- I love Americans. Right, like, I'm all about. But. I'm, I'm all about the United States. Like I love like New York and I love San Francisco. We went there. We, oh, fuck. you know, we traveled the states. I love the states. So that was just funny. Outright, that but, was just funny. But <laughs> American tourists have got to be the worst fucking tourists. Standard man. Okay, so okay, <laughs> we know you're American. You don't have to wear an American t-shirt. Right. Do I walk around with a t-shirt with the Australian flag on it? Um, Syracuse t-shirt, uh, New York hat. Um, we're talking full decked out, <laughs> proud American, American. <laughs> um, an American bag with like Abercrombie and Fitch with an American flag on there. We're talking like full, and this is like 90% of them. Like... I would never. I, just, I would not dream of going overseas and wearing like an Australian cap. Or I, I, I would, swear it, that's exactly. It would not even enter no, my mind no, like, in for no. a second. Like if you're a tourist and you decide to buy a cap from Italy because it's got an Italian thing, something on it, that's different. You're a tourist. Yeah. But you don't go to a no, different no. country and be decked out. We're talking full. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, American. Yeah. But, like we get your American, dude. It's okay because <laughs> we can hear you from the other side of the planet. <laughs> like, like, hey, Barbara! Check it out! Check it out! Uh, look what I found! It's like, dude, shut up. <laughs> like, we know you're American. Just please stop. Like, stop. <laughs> just stop. And in the restaurants, man, we're sitting there eating, and the guy's talking about politics. Like, man, just shut up. You don't know, like, oh, Trump this and Clinton that. Like, I'm just trying to eat my food, man. <laughs> just shut up. You see, you know, before, just taking the. I started shaking, like my knife was shaking. I'm going to step the back of the, the neck. Button knife. Yeah. Just the button knife. Just cut the neck. Just cut the neck. Like, some were cool, but just, I, uh, that's just my beef, man. Like, I just, like, don't wear a cap that says USA on it and a t shirt that says Syracuse and his shorts have got, like, his shorts were actually the American flag. You know those ones, the print? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got a pair of trackies like that, man. I bought them for like eight bucks off um, Alibaba. I wear them to sleep. As yeah. in, I wear them before I go to bed. Yeah, I know, you, I know you didn't wear them to France for dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I wore shorts and a t-shirt because it was hot. Yeah. But I didn't wear an Aussie t-shirt or saying, fuck off back home, we're full, or anything like that. Do, do, yeah, I got you a know massive beef with that fuck off, we're full thing, man. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. You've missed, you've missed a lot, actually, man. Was there more cr- Cronulla rides or anything? <laughs> um... It's actually gone, like, nuts. The last couple of weeks, like, the last month, like, if you listen to the podcast, man, I've, it's really weird. Everyone's gone nuts, like, with the politics. Did you guys go, like, a bit to a dark side? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> look at you both, you look confused. <laughs> like, you know, like, the last month has been a blur, man. Uh. You know? It's been an honest-to-God blur. Like, I... I Everything with everything's revolved around like the like the states, like you know, like Trump versus Clinton. Yeah. That keeps coming up because you'd be in a bubble, you'd have no fucking idea. It's a little bit like I've heard of because yeah, you get dribs and drabs, but that that's really it. You and don't pay honest, attention to it because you're on holidays, man. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't want either of them to be president. I don't care. No, no, no. Like, but I'd rather like Bernie Sanders, Team Bernie, man. I'm just trying to think, man, because like, but he's like your grandfather, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, what's what's been going on in Australia? It all feels like it's just been. <laughs> you know what, man? Like, if we listen back to the podcast mm. for the last month, you could see a theme, obviously. Like, you'd find something there. It just feels like it's all been a distraction. Like, they're just f- killing time for something to happen. Like, does that make sense? 
Like maybe I don't know if it's an adoption or whatever. Like I'm maybe just because I'm fucking tired. Do you know like, what happened though? I'm tired. Do you hear about, do you hear about, the, earth, <laughs> do you hear about the earthquake <laughs> in Italy though? Yeah, that was fucked. We just missed that. Oh really? Mm. <clears throat> I didn't even click. Like I did a mental, you know, like oh we, yeah, yeah, no shit. We yeah. just missed that, me and Ren. Yeah, but you know why, man? Because we were in Rome. I'll, I'll I'll be honest, man. When that earthquake hit. I was doing like the double ender, <laughs> double ender. The shifts at <laughs> work. Doing? I was doing the double ender shifts at work where it's like nine thirty to six, yeah. and then like I'm back at there at four in the morning yeah. the next day. So I was doing pretty much what, like I was doing a Johnny, like I was yeah. fucked. Yeah, right? we, yeah, we both, the midnight we both, oil. And when it like, hit, like, usually like I'm all over these yeah. sort of things. Yeah, when it hit, I just I, I got up at four in the morning to get ready for work. Mm. And I just saw it, like, well, I was waking up at night. I don't yeah. know what it was, but I was just coming out of a slumber. Yeah. I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> earthquake in in Italy, what? And then I did a mental check, like, who's still overseas? I'm like, okay, most people are in Greece, someone's in Bali. I wonder where, I wonder where Petroglu is. <laughs> just uh, under the rubble. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah I, don't think, I don't think he's in Italy. And then I just put it out of my head. Because, yeah. I, I, like, the last month has been that hard. I didn't yeah. want to see about another d- disaster. Yeah. Because I'd, I'd be in here with numbers yeah. every day, like, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm like, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't take this on right now because I've got enough shit going on. Well, we had been here literally uh, two days before that. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. We, went from, we docked at Venice, then we went to London, which is cool. That's massive. Mate, you know, like, I know like, someone that was in the Bali bombing. That's fucked. Yeah. Like, they survived it? Yeah. They were there, like, a couple, like, a K out or something. Like, not even. That's like, scary yeah, they, were, shit. they were in with, it's, like, yeah, mm. like, close. Like, as in the next hotel or something they over. They would have felt it. I mean, yeah, it's like yeah. a... Yeah. Like, that's it. I actually know someone. I only learnt it a couple months ago, but I was just like, fuck. Really? Scary shit. It's pretty fucked. Like, Did I tell you how when I was in Thailand, there was like a tsunami warning? Oh, dude, I, I was in Bali. There was like terrorist warnings. I was in Thailand. When, when no, I- like we got woken up like in the morning by alarms in our hotel. And like a speaker, like a voice over the speaker saying, everybody, higher ground, vacate higher. now to higher ground. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, and I woke up like we were hungover. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Dude, dude? That, sounds like a, that sounds like a Wednesday at Harrisfield. <laughs> <laughs> With the alarms go off. <laughs> and the fire trucks are rolling up. Higher ground. Dude, higher I ground. Came home, dude, yesterday. I came home yesterday and there were, there were fire trucks all around and coppers everywhere. I couldn't get down the service road. <laughs> it was blocked off. I pulled up. Who are you? I live here. Dude, I pulled up. I swear to God, I pulled up and they had a duty van parked parallel across the service road. I've jumped out and I've just stood up, walked to the, like, the side of the cop car. I was like, can I help you? I go, uh, I live there, man. Where? Okay, uh, in the, I go, what's going on? Let me question him. Where? Yeah, where? I go, I'm, I'm in the apartment block, man. I go, what's happened? And they found some, vol- they found some volatile um, materials. Some sort of, they did. Some fucked up materials that the, the fire brigade was siphoning out in hazmat suits. From yeah, the units. anthrax. Uh... Dude, f- from the units up across the, from my, uh, my balcony. What, the crack dens? Yeah. That's mad. Yeah. Shard. That's it. <laughs> it was no, I'll tell you, hang on. Shard. <laughs> wait a second. I'm pretty sure I texted, hang on. Um, <laughs> wanks and shards. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you didn't wank off on the balcony, dude? You're the disgusting, man. Nah. You missed your chance, man. Yeah, I was on my honeymoon. There's not that- <laughs> the, exact, the exact thing was they found a volatile substance in the units. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, they're like, well, you can't go there. Go, man, I live there. Like, oh. I need to then, go home. Yeah, okay. then, the, then the, uh, they said, well, look, we haven't blocked the other side of the service road. If you go down the wrong way and come up that side, you can probably pull in, yeah? I'm like, well, I could do that, but I'd be breaking the law, wouldn't I? And then the, the cop was like, ah, come on, mate. Yeah, I'm like, like, all right, fine. That's fine. So I burnt it out of there. But yeah. And you know we should put Judas wow. Priest breaking the law, breaking the, <laughs> breaking the law, law, breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the Thailand man, but that's the thing. Like with the whole, like you know, don't go to this country, don't go to that country. Don't go, dude. I've, I think I, I may have said on this podcast before. Tha- when I was in Thailand, it's when the airports were shut down and two people got killed. When I was in ba- when I was in Indonesia, there were fucking riots apparently set to go off. You know, for some reason. When I was in also in Thailand, that's when it was New Year's. So that's when the hotel burnt down in Bangkok. I was can't remember where. Every time, man, there's always some... Dude, when I was in Europe, that's when the riots were going off in, in the UK and the deficit uh, and the budget shit was... Everyone was declaring bankruptcy and people were starting to loot everything like, oh, all yeah. over Europe. Yeah. It's so, not going to stop you, man. Yeah, Johnny, have a quick look. All right. I'll give you a, just a quick sample, sample of our room. Pretty fucking nice room for a cruise ship. For a cruise ship, yeah? Yeah, that's nice, dude. That's nice. Have a look, son. <laughs> Nicer than my house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the theatre inside the ship. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's, it's pretty insane shit, man. It's like the Asta with the feet warmers. What? It's inside... The- what the fuck is oh, that? You see my face. Dude, that's the Red theater. took a photo of me at that exact time in shock. <laughs> what the- <laughs> Look at can my I face. See, can I see? Can I see? I'm like, what the fuck? 
I thought you seen a ghost. Yeah, dude, that looks nicer than the theatre that we saw Van Damme in t- uh, two days ago. Dude, it's ridiculous. That's what I first thought. Like, it looks more classy than that. Like, yeah, that's at the, the exhibition centre, man. Like, that looks better. It's actually ridiculous. Like, it's actually ridiculous. By the way, I don't care about your cruise ship. We saw Van Damme. Yeah. So. How, How was Van Damme? Man? I'm shattered. I'm actually shattered because I messaged him going, did you go see Van Damme? Yeah, that actually, uh, no word of a lie. Hang on. I actually messaged him because it was I'll on my mind. The, I'll read you the messages he sent me, like literally, like two days ago or I whatever was it was. on my mind. Did you go see the damage? Hang on, hang like, on. We saw the damage. He, how good was he? He was cool, man. He yeah. was, yeah. I asked him, because cool. he, he sent me a text at 6am saying the eagle has landed. And I've just said, hey, you know, I go, meanwhile, I've been up since 4, 5am starts, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then he sent me a text like 10 minutes later saying, hey, fucking flight was good. Um, he saw someone on the flight that we know. Then the next message right after that was, did you go to Van Damme? <laughs> <laughs> I know what my priorities and then, are. Priorities. And then you wrote, I want full details on the damage. <laughs> <laughs> I know my priorities. I love the damage. Yeah. Um, it was good, man. Like, Van I, I was going to say, he's not a cocky, stuck-up cunt. But he's he's cool, humble. He's the most humble dude yeah, that's you'll best, ever see, man. To describe him as humble. Yeah. Super humble. Humble, grounded, like, just... Like, you know what got me is because he said that he felt awkward in front of a crowd because he doesn't see himself as having done anything incredible or like being intel- in- incredibly gifted or different as in better than anyone yeah, else yeah. <sighs> he's like he feels more like he should be in the crowd asking someone else questions or just you that's know, a being- cool attitude to have you know what man I mean? that's a cool attitude to have and he was like, always yeah. like do you know what was funny he was wearing his hat yeah <laughs> <laughs> the JCVD yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you know what was cool when he was um, he was just standing there like he was walking around and he was always like fidgeting and shit and he's like, you know, you get people like in their stance and they walk proper, but like someone like me, because I'm, because I'm a nice guy, because I'm always seen as a clown, because I'm mm. always just pretty. And he started like just fidgeting and like stretching, because it's fine if you're at home, but can't go like, you know, p- imagine being at your job and he does like this full crouch, like your boss calls you in to talk to you, and you um, just do this crouch, like, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, just he's always, like he's always stretching, and, yeah. he's always like stretching and like he's always keeping loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just in keep... case someone, just people look at him, drop someone. <laughs> People look at him like he's fucking weird because of that. You know? Remember when he like roundhoused Richard Wilkins? Yeah, like, just missed hilarious. his head. He was telling some story, man. Yeah, and he's like, so I do a kick like this, and he just like out of nowhere just pulls his fucking roundhouse at Richard Wilkins who was sitting there. Missed his head by a couple of centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, lit, like flicked the, the side of his head. That is so. And cool, we just man. started dying. Man. Everyone's pissing themselves off. Were you guys pretty close? As in like um, we- pretty close. No, close enough for 160 yeah. bucks or whatever it cost. What was it, 160? 160. Fucking hell. Worth man. every dollar, yeah? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Van Damme. I mean, it was Van Damme. I mean, it wasn't. It's Jean Claude. It, it, <laughs> it wasn't anything special. Like, yeah, but just to see him. Just to see him. I would have cut my honeymoon short, man. Yeah, but like, dude, like, I mean, what, what would you really expect from like a QA with him? He, he came out, he answered some questions. He told some stories, signed some photos. Like, that, that's really it. Like, what is yeah. he going to do? Yeah, exactly. Did he get signed? No, no, no. Mm. We'll f- we wouldn't bother. Man, fuck yeah. it. So you're, so you're in the nosebleeds. <laughs> no, no, no. We weren't. We middle, were in the middle, middle, middle seats. That's cool. You know what pissed me off was, because like, Q- uh, he had meet and greets for like 800 bucks, yeah? As in like, you buy a ticket, you sit in the front row, whatever, it, and, and then, then you get, get to meet, meet him. him. Then they were auctioning off shit for one of his, for a charity, right? For an animal charity. Animal charity. He loved yeah. animals. It's all about his animal <laughs> preservation and shit like that, mm. yeah? So they were auctioning off shit for like, you know, like signed kickbox of posters and shit. Yeah. Three grand, you know? Shit. And yeah, then that, like a live auction and shit during Yeah, the- it was a live auction in between the intermission. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what you would have bought. <laughs> <laughs> there are jokes. Used underwear. <laughs> there are jokes. Here's the cup that he wore on Bloodsport. Sean, he's got it. Put it straight to his face like a hockey mask. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jody, you coming to bed tonight? <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> Put right there. No, no, it was a cop out because... Um, they were paying like three grand for these things, and then they were like going out and like you'd yeah. personally see him watch it. You'd see him sign it and you'd yeah. get to talk to Shake him. Shake his hand, yeah, and stand with him. That sort of shit, yeah. And these cuts are paying like two and a half, three grand for this stuff, right? But then during the Q and A section, which was the last section, yeah, right, it went for I don't know forty minutes. Forty minutes. And anyone yeah. could ask a question, like you could. Just, well, you could line up, you get put a your microphone, hand, right? yeah. ask a line up, and, and they are, yeah. most people got to ask whatever they wanted, yeah. but yeah, they obviously had to cut the night at some point, right? All these people were asking ridiculous things like, "Can I come up there and get a hug?" It was literally, uh, it was literally every second person. Yeah, that's so dumb. Someone would ask a question, then say, "Can I come up and get a hug and get a selfie like, and, and a signature?" And he's like, "It was the nicest guy." I was like, "Yeah, of course you can." You know, like, "Sweet." But yeah, come up, my brother. But yeah, everyone was getting signatures. But these cunts, like, for fuck's sakes, yeah. man! Like, these poor cunts have paid a grand for yeah. a ticket to yeah. do it. These cunts are paying three grand for auctioning. But shit. see, if he said no, then he would have seemed like an asshole. So he was stuck. Yeah. He was 
He was like, like, it's like, he, like all the promoters and stuff were like, you know, trying to push everything along. I know but- what Johnny would have asked. <laughs> so how far can you penetrate your ejaculation? <laughs> <laughs> no, just can I touch it? Just, like, <laughs> just let me touch it. You're disgusting, man. <laughs> Why do you always go there? What is going on in your mouth? <laughs> Van Damme is looking at you right is now. Is there something? <laughs> Van Damme and the stones are looking at the back of him. Give like, me a sexy look. <laughs> don't, don't you punch him in the back? <laughs> what are you greasing him off for, man? <laughs> nah, I like that Rolling Stones poster. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a print from London. Like, I'm not sure where my sister got it from, but... Yeah, she's like, here, take it. I'm like, yeah, well, this is where we're going to put it. Clearly. All right, before we finish this holiday stuff, open your thing. All so right, we can cool. stop talking about that and we'll talk about something else. Open your thing. Is it G-string? Close. Can you, why? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, it's a traditional Greek something. It's something traditional. Why, too? Why? It's, like, it, this is traditional from the islands. Are you joking? Yeah. The Greek fairs? Yeah. Dude. Dude, it's full tradition. I saw like, someone with the Moroccan fairs the other day. I'm like, psh. That reminds me of Austin Powers. It is. Why? Fez, that guy Fez. Fez. Oh, um, the Will Ferrell uh, character. Dude. So, like, <laughs> dude, it's full traditional. This is sick. That's cool. I wanted to get you something dude, that wasn't like... I was going to say, that orange suits you. Yeah. Uh, there was, there was no, a, it actually does. I'm no, not no, being sexual. There was, I'm just there saying. Was, no, no, no. There was a black I'm not being <laughs> sexual, but that, that tassel that's hanging from yeah. the side of your head. You know what? Yeah, there was you. a black and orange, Sexy. but I said I got blue because it's Greek. Mm. What was it from? Corfu. Corfu. Have a look in the mirror, bro. You look sick. That is so cool. I just want to see you do the Zorba around here now. Zorba's such an overrated... Why why did you go to the Zorba? (laughs) That's all I know. (laughs) Why? It's the most boring dance. If you ask Greek to do the Zorba, they're like... Dude, it's just boring. It's a token Greek thing. Why say it? <laughs> I love doing the, like the Kotsari, like some, mm. like some right. fucking. Like, they, they, that's like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the Kotsari is quick ass, man. You guys do it. You guys. In your little hat. Fist pumping. Zorba's the fastest. It goes to the fastest. Nah, 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 nah. You guys don't know. The <laughs> we don't know. Because it keeps going until it's the but fastest. They keep from the gully. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, boys, it keeps going until it's the fastest tune. That's Why how- are you telling us like you know, man? That's how it is. I did like five it. years of Greek dancing, like lessons. I performed and shit. Are you serious? Yeah, man. That's, when I was, uh, I started in primary school, but man. I got him that because traditional. It's like I wanted to give him something like not a shit cunt, like just a token tourist gift. I got him like a hat, like a proper Greek. Fuck, I'm waiting for everyone to come back overseas. My mum's coming back from... I couldn't... Where'd she I, go? Are you serious? You don't know. Oh, man, I've been overseas. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she was in... Um, I got a voicemail from her like two days ago. It's the first time I heard from her in three weeks. She went to Korea. What? <laughs> uh, Vietnam and Taiwan and Japan. North Korea, by the way. Or was Vietnam there? I know that Korea, you, yeah, Korea Taiwan and Japan were definitely there. I think you said Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam, probably Vietnam, Vietnam was there as well. That's hey, cool as, man. Yeah. That's cool as. Yeah. You, I know your mum travels though, that's the thing, like she travels, but yeah. Korea? Korea, yeah. No shit. That is some cool shit. Yeah, uh, bad. Korean barbecue, man. <laughs> Dog. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon that. We were yeah. talking about eating random animals. Last podcast, man, we were talking about. <laughs> it's true. Arthur and him were talking about having a pet goat. And I laughed at him. Well, you eat him, man. Because I had him for years, a year on end, years on end, and I said, no goat ever survived longer than two, two no. months in a Greek no. house. And feed, you feed him the grass, and then you kill him. Yeah. <laughs> ours, ours was a companion. <laughs> you feed him the you grass. Him on the just with a bit of serious look at his eye, like, just, like, sincere. You feed him the you grass. Him, you clean him, skin him, put him on the spit. You feed him the grass, and then you kill him. That's dude, I, dude, I cut him mine in my bed. <laughs> Are you <laughs> joking? Nah. J- Fuck off. Jenny used to hop in the bed, dude. How old were you when you had the goat? Wait, your goat was named Jenny? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And Billy. I'm of... So- yeah, Billy's standard. Yeah, but Jenny. Jenny got run over by by a car. My mom. My mom ran over. Her. You should listen to the last episodes, man. You'll die. It's it's a mind fuck. Jenny the goat. Jenny the goat. Yeah, that's cool. Hang on, wait a second, man. How old were you when you? I never asked you this. How old were you when you had the goat? You said your brother was like a young toddler. No, I was in high. No, 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 no. It was in where, where I was where the bungalow was or whatever. Yeah. Oh, they were in primary school. No. I thought they were younger than no, that. No, 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 no. Oh, so they were scarred for life. Yeah, scarred. Yeah, yeah completely scarred. They were like uh, his <laughs> brother and sister were in the back of the car when his old lady oh, backed shit. onto the goat. Yeah, I thought they were toddlers, so like they wouldn't have remembered. No, no, no. So we're no, talking. No, this no, is dude, scarring. This, this is, is like... this is burnt into their memories. <laughs> <laughs> Real good. <laughs> Um, yeah, what happened, no, what happened never, to Billy? I've never. Uh, Billy got too got, sexually. He sent, got sent back to the farm in Gisborne. Because he got so sexually charged that every time my mum would try and take the bins out, he'd pin her up against the bins. 
the fuck? So I'd have to actually go out and protect her and like get him in a head looking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Why did you have goat as a pet? No, no, serious question. Like, yeah, I'm. So, look, I said it because they were both. They had Arthur and Johnny both had their stories about the goats, and I said they fucked up because a goat in a Greek house would only be there for two months tops, and then there'd be the end of it. There'd be hey, another that's one. That's why I just said that. Like, like you yeah. eat it. Yeah. Like it's food. That's why. I, <laughs> it's I not a ask, pet. I didn't ask why they had them as pets because once they said a couple of years, I'm like, all right, well then there's there's the yeah, issue. Obviously, it wasn't food. <laughs> obviously, it wasn't food. Then. There's the issue, man. But that's like, a serious question. What made you guys get goats? Like, honestly, what is it, a- it was my dad's idea. I think. I think he had a patient that like offered them to him. It was, like, uh, it was a Greek. Yeah, it was a Greek. Yeah. <laughs> I think they used to breed them or whatever. Like I don't know. he, you know, he offered it to you as food. Yeah. He told us it was like, he'd keep the lawn down and shit. Yeah, yeah, keep the lawn down and slaughter <laughs> And I love animals, don't get me wrong, I'm not a person that goes around slaughtering chips just for no reason, yeah, but I'm saying goat is a meat that greets eat. There's a big like indicator. Of I've like, never eaten it. Dude. I've never tried yeah, it. Was, it's not great. Like, I, I don't mind it, but it's not it's a meat. I yeah. said it's gamey. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it. Like, it, oh, like it's, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way. No, yeah. no. Dude, that's, there's a big indicator of the mentality between like cultures. Like, <laughs> Greek would just look at that goat thinking, <laughs> I can't, meal, wait, I can't wait for this motherfucker to be fat enough to kill. And for us to eat. Like I just told you in a serious way, I gave you the we're, eyes. And we're, like, we're, we're combing it and tickling <laughs> it. And <laughs> eating better than the family? Combing it. Mate, I'd be throwing seeds on that grass. Eat up, fella. <laughs> <laughs> eat up, son. Me, you, me. Christmas is coming in four weeks. <laughs> 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 eat up, eat up, champ. Eat up, Spiro. <laughs> Spiro. So the, the Greeks would be feeding it, right? And making sure it got fed. Yeah. But it'd be for a purpose. Not, be, not to take care of it. They'd be pissed off about it because, like, you're costing me money. I yeah. can't wait to, you to eat go you. On to you. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> their <laughs> family would have been, like, giving it the, the couch, the, the brush, like, yeah. and the brush in the hair. <laughs> Ivory brush. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, me and my mate did, like, we figured out this. And you know, in Greek, like, yeah, yeah, you'd be brushing it, and then dad would walk past. This is a mystery. Wait till I get your mail. I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to fix you up, mate. <laughs> That's horrible. That's, that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm not, it's like, uh, but that's why I looked at you with serious eyes. That would have lasted. Think about it, man. Forget being horrible to a goat. We've talked about this before. The threats that Greeks, and even just wogs in general, man. Mm, pose. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know, like the Italians or my Arabic friend. We've all got the same, like, scarring memories of being kids <laughs> and getting these threats from our parents, man. Like, it's no joke, man. No. Like, dude, you think that's horrible? Like... You think it's horrible for, like, the father to be telling the goat, oh, we're going to fix you up in a couple of weeks. Mate, Dude, I'd get told that. It's like, I spilled, you know, something in the, in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to fucking fix you up. <laughs> like, dude, there, these, are thre- these are no jokes, And they're man. not empty threats. <laughs> not <laughs> empty. <laughs> they're they're, they're full to the brim threats. My so. mum would say to me, that's uvgalota nichia. That means I'm going to rip your nails out. And the, uh, what's it called? The, <laughs> the, the, the compromise would be, like, a backhander. Yeah. And getting thrown into my room. That's, that, the, that's, compromise. Just, that, that's, that's the, the minimum. Healthy, that's the, the healthy compromise. Yeah. That's a, that's a, like, you know, a, I'm going to rip your eyes out. Yeah. That's a vraso. I'm going to boil you alive. <laughs> these dude. are like, dude, these are just off the tip of the tongue. And you know, like, when you kid, kid cops a smack on the ass? <laughs> nah, nah. Dude, I walk into my grandma's house today, and yeah. in the laundry, she's still got that plank that she used to smack us with, with to hold up the lid for the, the washing machine. The I looked at that today when I was washing my hands. I, I was by myself! <laughs> so and shaking. I actually looked at it, and I'm like, she's still got it. Like, <laughs> I know what it's just before. Just in case this cat acts up one day, yeah. and she has to break it out of retirement. Dude, plank there. of wood. Like, this big, this thick. Like a 2 by 4 style. Dude, this thing's like... I looked at it, I was looking my hands, and it caught my eye. And I'm like, oh, she's still got the plank. <laughs> like, <laughs> mate, no jokes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's it. Look, dude, these are not empty threats. So, yeah, the goat wouldn't survive. The goat, yeah, the goat, <laughs> nah. the goat had a better life than us, because it was guaranteed to get fed every night. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. I've got a funny story about the goat, but I don't know if I should say it or not, because it's kind of like... Nah, you're going to say it right yeah, now. Yeah, of course you're going to say it. Because you'll just be like, why, you disgusting <laughs> freak. <laughs> Do it. Oh, fuck. If this is one of those scary bogan stories, I'm going to cry. Plus, it's, it's a bit sexual, though. Is God. it after dark with okay, Bobby Bridger? Ask, hang on, wait a second. Okay, because yeah, I know, I know. Wait, we're not getting into bas- we're not getting into that realm. No. Yeah, maybe. Okay, then you know what? I think I have to draw a line because I don't want it to be something I have to edit out later. Yeah. Because I pride, I take pride in the fact that what we that say, I, is, what we say yeah. on this podcast is ninety nine point nine 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 percent unedited. Yeah, it I, is. I, I edit only when um, there's big. Gaps, because right. we're fucking around with something here <laughs> trying to set something up. Or I edit because uh, we haven't got the mics up in time and we're still setting shit up yeah. while we're talking, you know, so it doesn't sound 100%. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I might chop out 
you know, the first two minutes, you know? Can I ask a question, though? Um, uh, no, no, I was going to ask one question, and you say yes or no. Did it have something to do with you and Jenny? No, it was the boy goat, Billy. Okay, then That's we're even not- worse. We're not going into <laughs> Because we're stepping into another realm. Yeah, no, no. And I can no longer protect you. <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Leave though. it there. I don't want to hear about we it. We all have families. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. No, but let me just say. No! Because people are going to hear this and be like, what, what kind of freak is this guy? <clears throat> it was nothing disgusting like... The fact that you have to question whether... No, nah, I- but I might just be being paranoid. No, it might just be I a funny story, because so. I've told a bunch of people and they thought it was funny. People from the gully? So it was... <laughs> it was tw- I'm, just, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to say No! It. If I have to edit it, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm telling you that now. All right, but I don't know if you're going to be disappointed or not. I was in... <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's like cracking the can open to get the last bit of beer out of it, you oh know? Oh my god. You want some? <laughs> no, I've got a BB in the car, I'll get it. Just have some of this, I'm not going to drink it all. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, in the happy birthday cups. Okay. So, like, is there any way to do it without... No, I'm just going to say it. It'll be alright. Because it's nothing like... <laughs> it's nothing disgusting. Like, we're just being silly. Like, we're being funny. And it's not like the animal's in pain or... It... Any, uh, any, yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, the look Dude, you're giving me. Should we take a break? And hang then on, like, hang, no, 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 no. Hang on, okay, because I don't even want to discuss it in the break. Well, this is my only concern, right? This guy's pulling all the fan mail right now. Yeah. Okay, people are tuning in just to hear this. Clown. We don't want hate mail. Okay, I don't want hate mail. <laughs> Furthermore, I don't want someone to like complain about us to the you know the, the RSPCA fans. or something, or like petition to have us taken right. off. I was in like year seven or eight. Oh, that, 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 that doesn't help. <laughs> okay, please stop. Don't go any further, because there I, was no penetration. No, I don't want to know. Stop right there. <laughs> I'm stopping. Because no, it's, 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 stop. Hey, I haven't said shit. We're sweet. It's cool. good. Because honestly, man, you're pulling. What if I say allegedly at the start? <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? And use two different names. <laughs> allegedly, Does that work. Does that? That doesn't work because you're telling the story about yourself. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly do anything. But I allegedly... I could just no, go- no, don't. Don't go. That's it. Stop it. Stop. No, I'm sorry. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, it's Billy, I up. miss you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really funny, actually. Like, okay, that's great. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 he's not going to say it. No, you'll say something else. Stop. Just I'm stop. Just, I'm just worried now. If I tell you guys, you'll be like, you should have just said it, you idiot. You're being paranoid. No, no, no. Because I don't think it's anything serious. No, no, no. It's no, not serious. No, I know it's not. No. No, no, no. It's fucking funny, though, dude. <laughs> fuck, it's funny. It's so funny. <laughs> no, right. because you know what? We've actually said this before, man. What white people consider funny. And yeah, we actually, look at, actually, yeah. We look at and we're like, what the fuck would you do that to your friend? You know, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, no. This is borderline, like, fucked up. So, no. All right. Stop there. <laughs> fuck, it's funny, though. <laughs> Um, at least I Bobby think it's preacher. Funny. I was just, I'm just trying to think, like, what can we fill this guy in? Like, the last month? It's been fucked, because, like, I don't know, ever since you left, I've just been working around the clock. And, yeah, like, and I've been doing more and more double mo- enders, like, 9 to 6, and then 5 a.m., so, like, fuck all sleep, like, you know, you get the 10 really, hour break. Yeah, it really has been a blur since Nikki left. Yeah, it's been weird. it has. Which Van, is pretty. Van Dam was probably the most exciting thing that I did. It's pretty fucked up, too, because every every podcast we've done since then has been chock block. Like, like Arthur's been coming down, man, and like we've sat here for three, three and a half hours, like, minimum, you know, and pounded out, like, some serious... Like, actually, you know what, man? Like, have you guys listened to the first stuff we did? Like, honestly, like, have you listened to the first stuff? Of course. Like, recently? Not recently. I've been meaning to, like... Because, like, the last time. couple of weeks, I've been... The last week, I started back backtracking on a lot of the other episodes, yeah? And then... I thought, fuck, man. Like, I, then I started listening to the Arthur stuff, like, and hammering him. But I thought, fuck, I haven't heard this cunt's voice in, like, ages. So I put on, you know what, today, I actually got yeah. through episode one, two, and three, yeah. And I'm like, man, it's a lot darker. Like, there's no hope. Like, the first, like, five episodes, like, all we do is vent about, like... Oh, no shit. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a lot to come off our chest, though. Yeah, that was, like, honestly, it was, like, the first psychiatric... Session, <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. The guy saying, "So tell me what. Tell me a bit about yourself." Well, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I swear to God. That's what it feels like. Like the like the first couple of weeks, man. Therapy, therapy sessions. The first sessions of therapy, man. This boy needs therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember that song? Yeah, yeah. That's weird that you say that because the guy was telling me it worked. Avalanche has brought out a new album and it's sick. Apparently, they're pretty good, man. Mm, they're still right. around. Yeah, they've just brought a new album out. And it's apparently awesome. Fuck, I don't even know that was like. I don't even know they were actually banned. Yeah, they had like a fucking. 
eight year gap or nine year gap between albums or something. Got on coke after the first single. <laughs> yeah, partied. And- <laughs> yeah, now they're broke. You gotta do it again. That's like Bon, bon Jovi, man. Uh, bon Jovi are talking about a re- oh Guns and Roses, man. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming. Yeah, I got a ticket. I didn't, dude, I didn't set out the bar. Yeah. My cousin messaged me, just like, dude, I'm buying a ticket to Guns N' Roses. What? I Axel Rose is actually doing kicking ass at the moment. Yeah. With uh, ACDC and everything. My cousin was saying to me mm. that um, he started doing like vocal lessons for, like the last mm. couple of months to try and bring himself back up. And apparently like his live gigs are killing it. Like he's just, his vocals are just on point. Like, you know what? Guns N' Roses, man. Like yeah. I grew up listening to that, Gunners. That is a must. Like yeah. if you get the chance to see it, do you... I would never have seen them without Slash and no. the rest <clears> of them. But man, the fact that they all squashed the beef you know what i mean like man they had like do you remember what it was called never in this lifetime like that that's the name of the the tour never in this lifetime or something like that because it was they were never going to get back together like as in the full lineup never in this lifetime what's the our guitarist name slash slash no no you're thinking of slash man he's the main guitarist with the curly hair the top hat the slash is the biggest pimp did i remember reading an interview about him like you know, 10 15 years ago every hotel the guy stays in has to have an x-rated 24-hour porno channel Jerk session. Like, the as whole in, time. not you even a jerk session. Just a flog fest. Dude, not even like a jerk session. It's just as in, like, that's what just I want to see. Oh, that's that's what, what I want to see, you know, when I'm just winding yeah. down or yeah. just getting ready for a show, but why not? I thought, man, that makes sense. That's why I always laugh at people that watch, like, fucked up videos on YouTube or, like, try and get you to watch a link of someone, <laughs> like, you know, fucking a goat. <laughs> I didn't fuck a goat. <laughs> no, hang on. Don't look at me like I'm that. I'm just saying. Yeah. And I, I always used to say, oh, and reality TV. That's what I used to say about reality TV. Every time someone would say, oh, do you watch Big Brother? I'm like, no, why not? When they stop, I'll start watching reality TV when they stop making porn. Yeah. When there's nothing left to yeah. watch, <laughs> that, like, that's the last line of, like, entertainment. Like, sorry, man. If I can turn on, if I can, like, l- get on the net and see, like, two Swedish girls discovering their bodies, then I'm going to do that rather than watch some dude building a house. Yes. You know, and then yes, getting the indeed. wrong nails and losing your shit. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, fuck it. Totally. Totally. New ball porn. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Nick knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, so I do. <laughs> CUB, man. I got a call today from um, some call center, and he was um, pitching like a real estate thing, you know, like a seminar, free tickets, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I said, look, man, I go, I'm struggling to pay my rent as it is. I go, I'm not looking at this. He's like, okay, fair enough. And we started t- just chatting, like about random shit. And he said, uh, he said something about beer. I think I might have said something about Foster's, actually. I can't remember what it was. And he said something about beer, man. And he goes that, I don't know how it got to this, but he raised, he said something about oh, casual workers. He brought up casual workers, and then he brought up, it was like that company that sacked all their employees and tried to bring them back at half, oh, pro, at half the thing. And I'm CUB. Like, yeah. Nick, I don't think you, you, it was on a podcast with Arthur. We were talking about the CUB um, CEO, how he, he sacked everyone to save roughly 5.5 mil. He can pocket it. it well, it was to save the company that makes billions every year, mm. 5.5 mil, and he makes like 72 mil, million a year. 72 million I'm year. sure that 5 million would have saved the whole company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, mm. this guy makes we went 72 into it million like a, a death, year. Right? Like, this but is it, fucking ridiculous. The guy on the phone brought it up. I'm like, dude, actually, we discussed that at length on our podcast. He's like, what? I go, that's not right. Like, <laughs> Hashtag, that's not right. Uh, yeah, I, I sold it to the guy, right? And he said, you know what, man? He goes... You did the old reverse sale. Yeah. Dude. Nah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, dude. I sold him, right? And then he said that he's from Wollongong. And all the bottlers in Wollongong now aren't stocking CUB products. Really? Because of that. Good. Yeah. He said, you, he goes, they, they, there was some show or something did a report on the and fact they that just they went together. to every bottle like in the radius, because in Wollongong they're, they're really big about beers and stuff. And based on what <laughs> they gong, man. Yeah. They, I've written it down. Because mm. they're not stocking CUB products, man. Mad. No shit. Go Wollongong. I mean, that's fucking mad. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, shout out to fucking the man. Wollongong, man. Yeah, fucking oath. Bad. I yep. thought, we need more of that, man. Seriously. So you're going to sack how many people to save $5 million? So you're going to put that $5 million into your pocket? Yeah. But apparently that $5 million dollars saved the whole CUB. It saved the whole company. Dude, we, Dude how hard would it be to give, sacrifice $5 million of your salary? Arthur ran oh, all the stats down, I couldn't do that down, because then I've got, I've, got, I've got a kid to feed. Oh, really? Dude, Arthur ran the stats down. You should have seen this guy's reaction, man. He was losing his shit. It was fucking hilarious. We actually did a fuck five episodes, man. No shit. This is episode... 19? 19. 19. 19. Holy shit. I actually tripped out because I was looking at the first one and it was done in uh, in the fifth month and we're almost at the ninth. Yeah? That's fucked. <laughs> Who would have thought? The Wraith is back. <laughs> <laughs> the Wraith. We're here at night. This is the Mate, second night session. The Wraith. I feel the Wraith among us. 
Yeah, that actually, that still trips me out, that fucking movie, man. I get flashbacks every now and then. <laughs> the Wraith got flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fucked. I don't know. Okay, you're right. I did reverse sell that. Uh, that, that you did the old, what they call in the biz, the reverse sale, didn't you? The biz. She <laughs> talking like you said. <laughs> like you're a master at this shit. Marketing biz. Do you ever cool. work, have you ever worked as a telemarketer? You ever worked in a call center? Worked in retail? Yeah. Hey, yeah, selling, like Hawaii, ha- selling Hawaiian shirts now. <laughs> what? I'm going to say him. Selling Hawaiian shirts to like middle-aged men. White shorts. Yeah. The pink looks good on you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's got the sweet, innocent look. And he'd be like, how does this look on me? Oh, sweet, yeah. Sweet, innocent look. Ooh. You know, like anyone that doesn't know him or hasn't seen him. Like if I dude, if you listen to some, like, it's actually pretty funny because we came up with the Sparky Bob name within the first two episodes. <laughs> I came up with Bob in the first episode because I said, I swear to God, your name was Bob. I was actually this, wondering where that came from. And then the second episode, yeah. <clears throat> so, so I can't remember, oh, Fun Bobby. You called him, you said because he was the Sparky because he put the, yeah, uh, I tried, he put, Sparky Bob. Yeah, the fairy lights in and then I said Plus Sparky I, Bob. Yeah. And that's when it started, mm. right? That was the second episode, man. Yeah. But uh, like, you we're going to have to bring out a best off CD. Every, <laughs> every fucking, I swear to God, I, the more I listen to him and I just pick up more and more shit, like... Anyone that doesn't know us would be thinking, who the fuck are these idiots? <laughs> Dude, like, you've made, we've made this guy out to be, you've called him like size sweet face, size of Arnie, like some massive physique. Should be like, a god. <laughs> you, you keep saying that you're like suave, like Roger Moore or uh, Sean, Sean Connery. Connery right? Sean Connery. Do you know what I mean? Freaking nuts to <laughs> Dude, he's the ultimate man. <laughs> this guy is a sm- like a bodybuilder slash tradie slash gentleman. Like, Fabio, like Benjamin Bratt, like. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> <laughs> and I just look at him in his hoodie. <laughs> and the weeks, like you wouldn't have seen it. The one body week, pump hoodie. Dude, we rocked up in the same <laughs> outfit, man. I put it up on Facebook. Oh yeah, it's sorry, no, yeah. no, sorry, sorry. Same pair of trackies, same hoodie, same t-shirt. It looked like the biggest. Bums, man. Look, what are we doing here? Look man. at him. It's Sparky Bob. <laughs> That's it. It's Fun Bobby, Sparky Bob. It's Bobby Preacher. <laughs> it's- fucking get up. Oh, I was going to ask you about France, man. Because that was, was the last stop, stop before we yeah, left. Paris, yeah. Yeah. There's big heat in France about the um the burka and shit, you know, because like, they'd banned it originally and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're- what happened? Were you there? Like, did anything fire up? Nothing really. There was a lot of security, though. Yeah? A lot of military around. Um... There's still burkas, people with burkas, but not as many as I thought there would be. Because did you see what happened with the burkini that happened? Yeah. They, they made that woman strip yeah. on the beach. Um, yeah. She was wearing, like, the burkini, which is just basically, like, the headscarf. Mm-hmm. And everything else is, like, normal, like, leggings and a top. Like, it's it's really nothing, man. But she was on the beach, and apparently they're saying that it was staged now, right? Like, for press. Because, like, the photographer, man, she'd get it on until, you know, whatever. But the coppers made her, like, strip, and then they find her, Right. And then all these memes started coming up. Like, you look it up, dude. Look up bikini meme, like, um, bodysuit or swimming thing. Dude, all these memes popped up, like, literally after it happened. Sorry, what? They've got, like, dude, the, the, the best one was the one my sister showed me. Uh, she didn't show me. It, was, it went up on her Insta. I'll have a look for it. Like, it was... Wait a second. You'll, you'll freak. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Wow. Uh, you can full get shopping. Yeah, eBay, House out. of Fraser. We, we, we're in House look, of look Fraser in London. Oh, we are? Yeah. All right, look at this. This is a bikini, which France just banned. This is a wetsuit, which France has no problem with. Look at the difference. <laughs> One's a bit looser. <laughs> How fucked I, up is I that? I prefer the bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's exactly the same thing. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So they can't wear that? No, nah, because it, it's a religious garment that would instigate... Um, a hate crime or something like that. Not really. Um, and wow. then it looks like a fucking wetsuit. Yeah, dude. The other one, the other one, like the other um thing was like those two pictures and then there was a picture of a nun like in the same, mm-hmm. like, you know, it looked exactly the same. But like nuns are fine. Double standards. Yeah. So the human rights thing's gone out the window. And then they just reversed you, you can definitely not wear that hat over there. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's just religious, man. It's cultural. You know what? He's going to wear that and drink great coffee <laughs> with his uh, worry beads. I swear that would kill it. <laughs> Katana's made me laugh hard, man. We'll, Con and I were watching um, uh, Double, Double Team. Team before we went to the Van Dam, <laughs> and he found that my worry beads that, on my coffee table. Like, And these aren't the little ones that I have in the studio. These are like the big, big wog ones. Yeah. It's like, fuck, man. I guess you need to bring these to Van Dam. You just see him sitting there, like in the audience, like watching Van Dam just 
Like, he could be. Like, like, that's not like, that funny. That's just fucking losing it. Talent damage. Yeah, Talent it's damage. like a scotch or a cup of coffee. Uh, yeah. Like, lots that of was, smoke. <laughs> they, that was, I was going to ask you about the bikini thing, man. If you saw any, like, no, actual no, shit no, going on. No, no. Because it's... I mean, honestly, people were saying, oh, did you feel safe in France? I, mean, I feel fine. It was, like... And the thing I was going to try to tell people is, if it happens, it happens. You can't. What are you going to do? Mm. What are you going to do? Like, have, a, have a flash and think, okay, we can't go here because something's going to happen. We went to crowded places. We went and saw things. We, you can't stop yourself. I'd from love going- to happen. I'd be, I'd be the hero, like the guy that's on the news that just like saves a day. You? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be snapping next, dude. I'd be. <laughs> yeah, right. You get the camera. Raw, <laughs> John McClane. <laughs> dude, leaves just- his misses the kids. Just starts bolting. I got plans. John McClane had plans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'll be stealth, just run behind, next snap, next snap, next snap, till they're all dead. Are you insane? No. Nah. So now, you're Arnie, <laughs> with a sweet face, S- Sean Connery, John McClane, and now you're a, you're a sniper, deadly killer. Not a sniper, I'll just snap next. Are you serious? You reckon you'd be that guy that steps up? Confident he is. <laughs> like, he's not even joking. Like, you just fucking walk to our cars now. <laughs> he's and like, he just rolls and he runs. <laughs> we didn't even flinch because we're just used to the area. <laughs> he gets rolled into the ground. <laughs> Take my keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, man, you know what? I Look, you don't know until we all, happens. We all want to say that we'd be brave in that situation, but you never know what's going to happen, man. You know what, man? Look, you don't think. Sometimes you don't think. Like, yeah, how many act. accidents have you been in where you could have you could have avoided if you just thought it'd be quicker, but you didn't? You know. <laughs> Did you got the uh, Eiffel Tower? <laughs> I was just gonna say, what for? He wouldn't pay to go to the Eiffel Tower. He'd be having a smoke two k's away. Dude, just like, yeah, no, nah, dude. dude seriously, what happened was we were on um, a, those hop on hop off buses, right? And we we're cruising past it. Ren's like, do you want to get off? I go, no, nah, just take a photo, man. Relax. Okay, and we just went past it. Took a photo of it and the bus drove off and we left. Man, they sl- it's it's a rort. Like I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> rort. <laughs> rort iron. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna pay to go up the Eiffel Tower now. <clears throat> Not even thirty eight degree heat either. It was thirty eight degrees, man. i my body temperature just dropped like twenty degrees. It's fucking hot overseas. Like it was hot. We were dying. It was summer. Like what do you yeah? Nah, but France didn't. It was like a heat wave because they hadn't had summer yet. As in, like, it was summertime, just, but... Just France. Yeah, like, 20-something degree. Um, London was, like, 28. Are you seriously cold right now? No, I'm fine now. I'm, 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 I'm dying. I'm, I'm, I'm warm. No, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm actually loving this. Okay, because I'm warm, man. I think, like, Melbourne... Everyone keeps complaining about the cold here. Man, Bullshit, man. It's been warm here. Man, I got off a plane yesterday. Yeah. Uh, like, yesterday morning. It was 6 a.m., and it said it was 8 degrees. I walked out in my shorts. I'm like, ah. <laughs> He's so good. The redness so just good. disappears from his ears and oh, shit. So yeah. A little bit of smoke. <laughs> And I felt the wind. I'm like, oh, yeah. Where did you see the most fucked up thing while you were away, man? What was, what was the most fucked up thing you saw? Like, you know how I gave you, you know the story? You know what got to me? You know, like, I told you about the French woman in Cambodia and all yeah. that sort of shit. You what know was what, the most fucked up thing you saw? You know what saw? got to me, man? All right. Um, first of all, there's a lot of homeless in London. I'm talking, like, a crazy amount of homeless. Not like here. We're talking on the streets, like, readily. The other thing that got to me is three things, right? The second thing is, it's the gypsies around and they they um begging but yet they got mobile phones and like bags and everything right no, that, that, that gets to me the third thing is is you know how all the refugees have come into the european countries and stuff like that and they're living on the streets apparently and they're begging but they use their kids as that really pissed me off because they would put out a blanket the mother and father would sit there and they'd have the kids sleeping right there and that would get me so hard man and what are you going to give money to all of them like you I can't. told you. I told yeah. you that. I saw man. that in Thailand. That was really well. like, like shocking to me. Like it was like holy shit. Dude, I said that when I got to Vietnam, man, and I was sitting there handing money out, and my mate that I was traveling with, like, because I was handing money out to everyone, and he's like, "Dude, you can't, everyone. you can't save everyone, man." He goes, "Are you?" His, his words were, "Are you rich?" I go, "Well, no." He goes, uh, "What did you do to get here? How much did you work and save?" I go, "Man, I, I put everything I had in here, man." He goes, "Exactly." Because you can't save everyone, man. You're, you're struggling as it is. You need, when you go home, you're going to be working again and looking for charity too. Because what are you going to give your, all your money? And it's not enough. It's not enough to make a difference. And they're just going to want more. Because trust me, it's not because I'm cold-hearted. Because he he'd been through South America and Central America. He's like, he would have seen some shit. Because I saw though. it there even worse than this, man. You know? And that's the reality. You can't save everyone. But not like you know, if Tom Cruise dropped 10 mil, 
you know, that yeah, make yeah. a significant difference yeah, to someone's fucking difference. life. What we're not, giving is a drop in the ocean. Yeah, not me giving five bucks to some kid to buy a burger. Like, and that'll who, sort him out for an hour. But who oh. knows if that five bucks goes to the kid? No, it goes to the pimp. That's right. Straight away. That's right. It goes to the pimp, man. That's and, why they, and, and like in Greece, like I'll explain to Johnny, you would have seen it for sure, how the kids come around with the signs. Oh, they come and they drop on your table. So you're at a restaurant, right? And they'll come with laminated pieces of paper. Like, we're yeah. talking professional. We've typed out everything. <laughs> and it says... <laughs> <laughs> business cards. <laughs> Literally, they look business cards. Uh, my email address. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, I have no money. I can't speak Greek, but I need to eat. Okay. So how'd you get these laminated? And how'd you get these, like... <laughs> so they get these kids now to go around and to get <clears> at these things. And then at the end, they go around and collect the notes back and see if anyone... It's an organized crime syndicate. Yeah. <laughs> it literally, it's an organized crime. And, but you feel sorry for the kid because the kid's young. Like, he's like seven years old, man. But this is what they're growing up in. Yeah. Like, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, you hate the people that's doing it to the kid because you're like, fucking asshole. Because this kid would have known that's that's the life. But, but the parents, yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. they need to do. Like, yeah. yeah. But who knows if they've got money or not? Yeah. Like, they could have money. They'd yeah. probably cleaning up. Yeah. No, because no, a lot no. of the tourists were giving money. I was watching them. And I go, I know how this works, and I, I, as bad as I feel for the kid, I'm not going to give money. Yeah, that's why the um, when I'd gone to, I can't remember which country it was, man, one of the first tour guides or tuk-tuk drivers was a hotel worker. Someone had said to us, if you're going to give something, give food. Yeah. Because food, they and can see if they eat. accept it or not. And if they accept it, that means the kid is actually, like, they, yeah, they, they actually And a lot of them they, were just turning their faces yeah, up, man. Yeah, they didn't want yeah. the food. Yeah. Kid would come yeah. with his hands out, and I'm like, I'd pat my pockets like, no money, and he'd make like a face, mm. and I'd point out my food and say... You want, and he just turned his face out like, yeah. You know, yeah. That's when you know it. it's yeah. like, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's just what they do, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, it's fucked, man. But that's probably like <clears throat> probably the worst I saw. Like, what about like through tourists? Does this anyone stand out? Americans, just the Americans. <laughs> oh, mm. there is a other group, but I don't want to. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just gonna say like tourists in general. Okay, like the Aussies are cool. Because we're, like, so laid back. Even the tourists I met overseas that were Aussie, just so laid back, man. Like, there's no pushiness. There's no, like, how do I mean? Like, uh, like we have the right to, nah, be, like... Do you know what? The only tu- the only Aussie tourist that pisses me off is the Bogan tourist in the Collingwood Jumper. They you turn up in Thailand ne- a lot in yeah, Bali. Yeah, you know? see, I didn't see any of that. Yeah, like, they, they give me yeah, the shits. Like, Paris, London, all that was cool as. Like, the Aussies yeah. are cool. If you, um... I heard you're Aussie. You're like, hey man, like, you know, like, yeah, where are you from? All of a sudden, you're best mate. Yeah, yeah, just because you yeah. both got the same accent. Hi mate. Yeah, you know, straight yeah. away. You know, it's, yeah. it's where like you been? Yeah. Well, I like who you with? Yeah. yeah, and it's like a five, ten minute conversation. Oh, good to meet you. Cool, and go separate ways. It's yeah, it. yeah. But there's other countrymen, cultures. <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> just say <laughs> countrymen, <laughs> countrymen, <laughs> friends, <laughs> Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> they just like you know feel entitled because they're tourists that they can do whatever they want, and that's not how it works. Oh because, yeah, because you know if coppers saw what you were doing or someone else was saying, and you get bashed, the local would get in trouble because you were acting like a cockhead. Mm. That I don't. You go to someone's country, have some respect. At yeah, someone yeah. else's country, like you wouldn't walk in someone's home and take a dump on their coffee table. <laughs> you <probably> would. <laughs> <laughs> Gets called batting off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't take them to a party. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just made Johnny. Where's Johnny? Johnny? <laughs> check, check the balcony. Twenty hours, twenty minutes in, the guys disappear. Pants <laughs> down, not for glory. <laughs> it's like, oh, Johnny, you want to come to a party with me? Oh, who is it? Oh, it's the friends of mine. You've never met him. All right, cool. Do they have a balcony? <laughs> Timmy turns around. It's an odd question, but yes, they do. <laughs> um, uh, everyone, yeah, I'll come. Uh, yeah, everyone, this is my friend Johnny. Like, where, where do you go? <laughs> <laughs> just gone. As soon as you get to, uh, where's your bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> 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 You're fucked. I love it. I would have been his fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Actually, you know what pissed me off, man? When I bought these... these. Sorry, I'm just thinking of this now because you said you don't walk into someone's house to take a dump on their coffee table. <laughs> not really relevant. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's not related, but it still pissed me off. I was just going to ask you this, yeah? When I was at... Yeah, I was in Clayton, like, looking for booze, right? <laughs> when I pulled in... Yeah, I know, man. There's there's some fucking heads walking around that yeah, shopping centre yeah. at this time of night, man. It's fucked. Like, I was... Like, you know, in Clayton? Like, yeah, man. Yeah, where, like, near, um... Like, Kimmer's Warehouse and all that? Like, that strip? Yeah, like... Yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. Up past the, um... 
What's the bottle that the middle bottle? It's that. It's not a next to the charcoal chicken yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah, that, yeah, it's yeah. that weird one. Yeah, I wouldn't go. The, the, it starts with a D, doesn't it? Uh, no, no, no. It's a uh, what's it called? It's got that fucking dude, Duncan or something. Duncan's, yeah, Duncan's, Duncan's yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some shit. Yeah, I went to Cos Liquor Land. The orange shit. guy. Yeah, so then I went yeah. to Duncan's. But dude, when I was pulling in, like in my car, and I was trying to find a space. There was this fucking massive SUV, like sitting backing out of the um the disabled spot, like full slow, but like just. Yeah. Most awkward reverse turn ever. And they were just fucking coming like right at me. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you have to duck out of the way. As I got closer, right, they had a disa- I'm pretty sure they had a disabled... I don't know if they had a disabled sticker. I didn't get to catch it, right? But they put out a disabled spot. <laughs> the dude in the passenger, sh- passenger seat had his feet up on the dash. <laughs> yeah. Had his feet like up on the dash. Mm. And my first thought was, that car's not disabled. <laughs> 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 and for some reason, I, I swear to God, I got infuriated because this car was blocking me off. I seriously wanted to get out and just grab the guy by the neck and throw him out of the car. Like, one of those like <laughs> madness moments, yeah? And, and you know what? And I thought, okay, hang on. If they do have a disabled sticker, maybe... Maybe the driver's differently disabled. Maybe they've got a visual. It could be impairment. something. Yeah, yeah. I, I went that far, and like as I tried to find a spot, I started rationalising it. But all I could see was his feet up on the fucking dash. That's what got ya. Yeah. Let me ask you. <laughs> Put, I, I'd love to see this guy get out of the car with his hat. Tassel just has his fucking like crazy. Hey! <laughs> 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 Why fuck? Yeah, <laughs> Both of his are red. This <laughs> is such a soft orange. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys serious? Just stomping towards the car. <laughs> and the tassel's just slapping. Uh, both these idiots are red. With his lucky rants in his pocket. <laughs> lucky strike. Lucky strike. Trying to just spike this. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm crying. <laughs> you both are high. You're both red, man. I just picked that tassel flopping in. <laughs> just keep getting angry. <laughs> Oi! Get here! You You're alright, man? Are you okay? I'm alright. Oh. Sorry, continue. <laughs> I'm oh, just going to ask, man. Need to, no, go, go, go. Oh, I was just going to ask, yeah. Like, if you got into someone's car, would you put your feet up on the dash? No. My girlfriend always does it, in my, does it in my car and I yell at her every time. There's all these foot marks across the dash, bitch. <laughs> no, no, like, okay, <laughs> bitch. If you, okay, if you, had hurt, nice. if you had hurt your leg or something and you had to put the seat back to put your foot up, I'd go, all right, put it up. <laughs> but I wouldn't go, no, not, you know, like if I step on something or at the beach, you step on like a syringe, I don't know. <laughs> 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 if you're a I'll be on my like, back. You might have AIDS, I'll let you put your foot up on my back. <laughs> <laughs> No, I put something underneath your foot. <laughs> no, no helicopter, air out to the loop. It's okay, walk it off, walk it off, buddy. You'll be fine. I think I'm bleeding out. I think I'm bleeding out. What are you, nuts? That's a thousand dollars. Have you got ambo cover? No. Well, fuck you. I'm thinking of Dr. Wong. Hey, dude, you're taking the slow way home. I'm going to stop and buy smokes. <laughs> Smoke? <laughs> hey, you want something to drink? <laughs> Seriously. I'll scratch that. I haven't got enough money. Dude, like, yeah, I was just thinking about that, yeah? Like... Fucking, this guy's got the foot up on the dash, and all I could think about was, I want to get out of the car and, like, literally rip him out of the seat and throw him on the ground. Yeah. Because I just pictured it. But I thought about the overstep, like, what's considered socially acceptable. Like, you said, this guy's still laughing. <laughs> what <are> you laughing? <laughs> the thought of you marching towards that car really angry with that tassel flapping, <laughs> that is the funniest fucking thing ever, dude. Why? Because the guy in the car just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this shit off. <laughs>